all doing? Good to have you back in my channel. I hope you all are doing very good. And I hope you're enjoying this holiday season. I'm enjoying the holiday season because I love holiday season. So, today I'm going to be showing you how you can make chin chin for the holiday. Trust me, chin chin is one snack you're going to have in your house during the holiday season. And you can also share with your friends and neighbors. So, stick around. Let me show you how I make my own chin chin. These are the ingredients I'll be using to prepare this chin chin today. I have here my whole milk. I love it in my chin chin. In this bowl, I have some eggs. I have my country croak margarine. Feel free to use any butter of your choice or margarine. I have my baking powder. I have my salt. I have my vanilla extract, but it's optional. In this bowl, I have my multipurpose flour. I have my granulated sugar and I have my nutmeg. This is my multipurpose flour for this chin chin I'm making today. So I'm going to measure my flour this way. This is the right way to measure your flour, not any other way. By so doing, you're going to get an accurate measurement for your chin chin. Make sure you level it this way. So before I use it, I will sieve it using the sieve to make sure my floor is very clean. Okay. After getting the quantity of multipurpose floor I need for my chin chin, I'm going to add in my sugar into it. Don't worry about the measurements, I'm going to leave in the description box of this video all the measurements I use in making this chin chin. Sugar, baking powder, salt, nutmeg. This nutmeg is a must use. After adding all my dry ingredients, I will use my whisk to make sure I mix it very well. You want to give a very fine mix to this dry ingredients before you go in with your wet ingredients and while mixing it you have to mix it very well you have to keep mixing until all the dry ingredients incorporate into the floor very well At this point, I like to wash my hands very well, like I have done. So mix my dry ingredient very well, even after using the whisk to mix it. I'll be sure that my dry ingredient is properly mixed. You know what I mean, guys? <laughs> After mixing, I'll create a hole in the middle and add my margarine. I will mix my margarine with the dry ingredients until I obtain a crumbly texture. Make sure all, either your butter, your margarine, the milk, all these are in room temperature that way you will get a very good result that you desire i tell you this mixing you need some energy strength <laughs> to mix this to get a proper dough that you want so i will keep mixing I will add vanilla to my eggs. At this point, 
I will add the eggs. I will add my milk and I'll keep mixing it. So I'll go in with my milk again. I don't like to add my milk at the same time. This way, it helps me to mix better. I'm going to keep mixing it until I get the desired consistency for my dough. At this point, I've gotten the desired dough that I want. So I'm going to cover it up in my plastic wrap and allow it to stay for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm going to be checking on my dough. can see how soft it looks now after 20 minutes so at this point I'm still gonna keep mixing it some more wow this is good so at this point my work surface is very clear I'm gonna just put some floor take out my dough and mix it some more when adding your dry floor on your work surface make sure you add just a little so that your oil will not foam when frying your chin chin as you can see my dough is ready I'm going to add little flour to the roller and on the surface of the dough you are rolling so that after cutting it, it will not be difficult for you to pick them into the hot oil. Okay, I think I like this thickness. I'll go ahead and start cutting my chin chin. I'm using my pizza cutter to cut the chin chin. You can use your knife if you want. I'll repeat the same process for the other portion. In a clean dry pot, you want to turn on your lights and go in with your vegetable oil. Like I told you, you have to be very generous with vegetable oil. So know if your oil is hot enough to start frying your chin chin. You have to drop one chin chin inside the oil if the oil bubbles, then your oil is ready. Okay, it's always good to take out your chin chin before the desired color you want. So I'm going to go ahead and take this chin chin out and put it in the basket with a paper towel. I will pour this in a tray to cool off while I complete frying the remaining chin chin. 
Guys, I present to you this yummy chin chin. Crunchy outside and soft inside. This chin chin is the best ever made, I tell you. I'm gonna cover this container to make it airtight. That way my chin chin will be very, very preserved. It's not good for air to get into your chin chin. I will go ahead and put it in my pantry. Feel free to put it in your fridge if you want, so that this holiday season, you can have something to snack at home. This is the season of sharing. You can also get some containers or maybe little plates like this to give to your friends, your neighbors, your colleagues. Why not? And I'm sure they will appreciate it. This is very good as a gift for this holiday. Have you subscribed to this channel? Have you liked this video? Oh my God. Just hit the subscription button for me. Make me happy this holiday season. Like my video. Please share my video with someone. You never can tell whom it will be useful to. I'm going to leave in the description box of this video all the ingredients I use in making this yummy chin chin. And I'm also going to leave in the description box of this video all the measurements I use in making this chin chin. When you do try making your own chin chin, please let me see it. You can post it to me in my Instagram page, chi dot underscore styles. I'll be glad to see your picture of your own chin chin. Yeah, you wanna say, okay, I'm ready to eat my own chin chin now. You can get a plate like this and put some chin chin for yourself and maybe for your family. You can just sit down and enjoy yourself. This is a season of realization. So you wanna have this to relax with. So guys, I present to you this chin chin. I will see you guys in my next video. I'm out.